Hi everyone, so in today's video we are going to go over five ways to correctly conceal your roots. Now I know that there are a ton of products out there targeted towards fixing this issue. But the tips I have for you today are things that you most likely have in your house currently. So I am talking about roots like you have like a straight line of either highlights or you have grays coming in, um, basically where there's a distinct line of where your hair was done last time and it's definitely time to kind of get in and get your roots done. But say you have an event coming up or you can't get to the salon, these are just gonna be five quick ways where you can easily conceal those roots um, and still look a little bit more presentable. So the first and easiest thing you can do is your part. Now the center part is the least forgiving on roots because it's literally like, hi, I'm here. So it basically just leaves a lot of little room for any errors. So what I suggest doing is an off-center part. If you already normally do an off-center part, I would switch it up and do, say, the opposite side. The benefit of doing that as well is you do get a ton more volume. And as you can see, it definitely disguises the roots a little bit more and gives you that added volume, which is always a plus. The next tip is to add volume to the roots. So if the hair is laying flat down this way, you're going to see those roots a lot more. If you have added volume to those roots, you can get away with a good maybe quarter of an inch um, of roots without it even being visible if you do have that volume at the root. So the next one is to add an accessory to your hair. Just adding a simple pop of color, such as a hair scarf, as you saw me do in the last video. If you haven't seen that yet, I will leave it linked down below. The simple step of actually adding color is gonna pull the attention to that color instead of the roots, but also where you place the scarf can immensely help you. So if you still wanna be wearing your hair down, I think one of the best ways is to bring a little bit of hair forward towards the face. And then by simply tying that up, and say if you have a lot of grays around the face here, you have this piece that is giving you a little bit something around the face and is making it a lot easier to also cover those sides. All right, so the next tip for helping you conceal those roots is to use a little bit of eyeshadow. I can't tell you the amount of times that I have done this. And all you need is to have the correct eyeshadow color, obviously, to correct what you are trying to correct. So say if you have gray, all you need is, if your hair is brown, a brown eyeshadow. And really just like tapping that at the root, it's it's not going to cover it 100%, but it's definitely gonna diffuse that line a lot more. I've even done it with my blonde hair. Say so if I'm starting to see a little bit of brassiness kind of at the root, where my blonde starts meeting the brown, sometimes I feel like I will see just like this light haze of kind of brassiness, but it's not all over the hair and until I can actually tone it. I actually like to go in with a little bit of something like gray or really kind of cool tone and I just go over that and as you can see it's like totally ashed out that area I don't know if you guys can see it in the monitor I can definitely tell a difference so I hope you guys can see it in the video as well all right so for the next tip is to wear a hat I do think that hats are such a lifesaver. Whether you woke up late and you can't get your hair shampooed and you have something you know, important to go to, I think with the hat you can always look really put together um, and you can kind of reuse the blowout that you had from the day before. And I do want to state that that is in no way groundbreaking, like wow, cover your roots, wear a hat. Um, but the reason why I included this tip is because I have had so many clients that have said like, oh, I just, hats don't look good on me. And I can't tell you the amount of times that clients have told me like, oh, like this last week, I just couldn't wait to get in here to, you know, do my roots, but I just, I can't wear hats because they don't look good on me or whatever the reason is. And I've actually heard so many women say this and trust me, I used to be one of those too, and I actually love hats now. I feel like a lot of hairdressers that I know actually wear hats probably 90% of the time, and I think it looks amazing. Um, I think it actually makes you look more put together and even more professional sometimes. So my bit of advice is to actually try a ton of different hats. Even try something that you think would absolutely like not suit you, just try it. Um, I was actually talking about this with a girlfriend 
uh, a couple weeks ago and she said the same thing. She was like, I think hats on other girls is just so cute. And I somehow just put in my head that they don't look good on me. And she was like, I think I was like imagining a cap I probably wore like five years ago. And she was like, I finally ordered one online, like just like a cheap one to see if I would be into it. And she was like, oh my gosh, like I love it. And it's like my new thing. So I definitely thought I would include that in one of my videos because I think as women, sometimes we do that a lot to ourselves. We just assume that something's not gonna look good. Um, and so I guess my bit of advice is try it if you haven't, <laughs> not to make this a hat video. But I figured in this video where I'm talking about, you know, concealing roots, I figured it would be a good idea to just sneak that one in there. So, and for the last and final tip is to wear your hair up. Again, not groundbreaking, but I do have to say as someone like myself who I love wearing my hair down, there are times that I'm like, I don't know what to do with my hair. I don't have time to wash it right now. Um, and I end up putting my hair up and I end up loving it and then thinking, why don't I wear my hair up more often? But I think for me as a hairdresser, it's like if my hair is clean and it's blown out, I don't want to put a crease or like a dent in it by wearing it up. So I think that's more my mentality, not that I don't like wearing it up. So if anything, I think it's a great excuse for you to kind of wear your hair up and a little bit off your face, which I think is so flattering on everyone. So anyway, I hope these tips were helpful. Um, if you're not a hat lover, definitely encourage you to try out some styles and see if you find something that you like. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Am I four? <laughs> also, I ordered this dress on Misguided, mostly because I love this belt, because I don't, because I refuse to buy the off-white one. And I was like, oh, it's neutral, it's cute. Turns out, not even a fucking real belt. Like, side note, I am extremely awkward, and I don't know why. Uh, honestly, as a kid, like, I would get in trouble for talking too much. I was, like, really bubbly and just really outgoing, and I feel like now as an adult, like, just trying to say one simple sentence that's something, even if it's within my level of expertise, like, sometimes words just coming out of my mouth, I just sound like an absolute psychopath, crazy person, so I'm sorry, and <laughs> I've never said this, but thank you for putting up with me, and thank you for everyone that's subscribed and loyal and comes back to my channel and watches my videos and appreciates me and can go over the fact that I am so awkward and weird sometimes. Anyway, love you guys, and uh, I'll be just as awkward in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Uh, welcome to Therapy and Confessions with Sylvia. Yay. I know someone's going to say, like, oh my god, is she drunk? Is she on drugs? No, it's just me. Just me. Okay, really gotta go. <laughs>